Everybody gets them and everybody hates them. We're talking about tech scams. Some of those scammers are trying to pose as government officials and doing a decent job of it. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Cole Hankey is live outside of the Capitol tonight. Cole, our team came across one of those texts yesterday. That's right. Someone in our newsroom actually received this text, and while it was more convincing than most, it still didn't look entirely legitimate. So I passed it on to the Secretary of State's office last night, and before the night was over, they had the sec or they had that scammer's website shut down. A relatively convincing scam text made the rounds this week. It claimed Illinois was giving out $1,500 rebates to help alleviate high gas prices. These fraudsters that try to prey upon Illinoisans with these scams are absolutely disgusting. There are some red flags that show this is a scam. First, this text comes from an out-of-state area code. Second, Illinois does not have DMVs. They are called driver's services facilities. Third, there are grammatical errors in the text. And finally, all state websites will end in a .gov, not .info. Do not click on these links. Do not provide personal sensitive information like your social security number. We are never going to send you an email or a text message asking for you to provide that type of information to us. Scam text like that one became much more common during the pandemic, especially around the Department of Employment Security. I would say that um, after the pandemic, in mid to late 2020, throughout 2021, we were seeing these scams pop up, almost like mushrooms. And we would immediately work to shut these websites down. The Secretary of State's office now has an email address you can send these scam links to, and they will shut down the website. We also developed these contacts with um, Google and Microsoft and, and other uh, hosting servers where we could make sure that uh, we could shut down these websites ASAP. And we've been successful in doing so. Now, the Secretary of State's office handles all of that on the front end of these scams, but if you are a victim of one of these scams, you should reach out to the Attorney General's office. We have a link to their Consumer Protection Bureau on our website right now at WCIA.com. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Cole Hankey, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Cole, thank you.